morning everybody. I just wanted to make a quick video today because there's some stuff that's going on. Hi puppy. You want to be in the camera? Can you get on? Get on. Oh. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you can get all the way in there, Kai. You just like the Jeep, huh? It looks all different now. Well, I guess now that's facing this way, I might as well tell you what's going on in here. I pulled the cot out and everything, and um, I'm trying to mess with some stuff in here. I think if you remember, actually, there was a wooden board in here, and I decided to pull that all out because it started to smell funny inside the Jeep, and I was worried about mildew and mold, and I was noticing on the edges there was some black stuff, so I started to think that maybe I did something wrong, or maybe I was just, you know, wrong in assuming that this would work, and I decided to pull it out because I didn't want to be breathing in mold. And But then the really uh, funny thing was, is after I pulled the whole thing out, I was looking at it, trying to see if I was right about the mold, and actually, I, I couldn't find any mold. Even though there was technically no mold, there was still a couple other issues on there, that I wasn't a huge fan of. So I decided you might as well rip it out and stuff. Um, it's gonna look a lot cleaner back here. I'm trying to get all the gunk and stuff off, so I tore up some of the stuff. But this is gonna make it a lot easier to clean because there was a lot of dirt and stuff getting in the crevices. But um, yeah, so that's what we're working on now. And then also, there's some really cool stuff. On top of the rack, which I just painted, I got these things right here. These are awesome, these are like, um, when I bought this tailgate for the rear tire carrier, I intended to make this whole build so I'd be able to go on this trip and stuff, but I couldn't afford all of that at the time, so I just bought it without all the accessories. I recently got the rack, and while I was down here, I decided I was going to just order the um, water jugs. Initially, these were sitting right next to my cot, but now they're on the outside of the Jeep, which means it's going to be a lot easier to store more stuff inside of the Jeep. On top of getting the roof rack, it's all just going to be a much better setup once the time I get back on the road. All right, puppy. You ready to get back on the road? Ready to get back living in the Jeep? Oh, the fur is going everywhere. That's just a couple of updates on what's going on, but the reason I wanted to make this video, my dad actually pointed out that it seems like a lot of you really want to meet up with me, and that I'm kind of just passing it off. I don't mean it to sound that way, um, I just know where I want to go, and I don't want there to be anything holding me up. If that's how I sound, I'm not trying to sound like that, I would love to meet a lot of you guys, but I understand if I'm maybe not being the best at trying to organize everything, I think I definitely need a better system. Um, at trying to figure out when and where I'm gonna be so people can figure out if we can meet up or whatever You know do like some trails or just you know do a group meetup of some kind and um, I was trying to think of ways that'd be better and I realized that the best way to do that is by announcing it on my channel since this is where all of you guys are so I'm going to start announcing on my channel where I'm gonna be and then from there I would like you guys to email me or DM me on Instagram until I come up with a better setup That's what we're gonna do Okay, so when I start my road trip again sometime around next week, I'm going to head to Oklahoma first. Um, I would like to do some, some stuff there, get all that um, knocked out before I head back to Colorado. So if you're in the Oklahoma area, this is the announcement for that. If you're in Oklahoma and you would like to meet up, tell me where you are. We'll see if we can work something out. I would like to get a group of people together. Um, I know that some of you have already um, reached out to me and said you're from Oklahoma. So if you're in Oklahoma and you would like to do a meetup, Here's the opportunity to. I would love to meet a lot of you and I just need to kind of organize that better. So Oklahoma people, wherever you're at, I have an email and the link down below. You can also DM me on Instagram and I'll be sure to get back to you, see what we can set up a week in advance so it's not like all crazy and hard to set up. And that's pretty much all for this video. I'm getting a lot of work done on the Jeep this week. That way we can start this trip again. I'll try to upload updates about that so it'll be you know more engaging and stuff. And then also, for those of you who don't know, I recently started designing merch. I have two products out right now. Both of them have to do with my glasses. I have one where it's my glasses and it's a silhouette of my Jeep on mountains and stuff. And then I have another one where it's just my glasses and it says Life of Trevor on it. You can go find those in the link in the description down below if you're interested in ordering any of my merch. I have stickers, I have t-shirts, and I have a pillow for some reason because I thought the pillow looked really cool. I also think I have a blanket. I don't know, I kind of went crazy with all of it. But that's all in the link down below and then if you purchase any of that it also helps support me in my journey I get a little bit of a cash benefit from that so if you'd really like a shirt or something down below it helps support me I also have a GoFundMe and a Patreon so if you'd like to help support me on this journey those links are down below anything you do can help and then also fan mail I forgot about fan mail I have an address down below and if you send any mail to that address it'll be it'll get to me one way or another if you want to send me anything cards or whatever a meme on a piece of paper can people do that send those to me I'll be sure to get them I'd love to do a mail time that'd be fun a lot of this would be fun and so yeah in case you didn't know about any of that all down below and I'll talk to you guys soon